Hey guys, what's happening? So, found this cordless drill the other day uh, after 20 years. Uh, yeah, I bought this thing over 20 years ago and I totally forgot about it. It was actually at my mom's house and uh, I was going through her garage and I found it like hidden away. But as you can see, it's covered in dust and yeah, this thing has to at least be 20 years old. So, yeah, because I haven't lived there in 20 years. So, um, yeah, it's an old NICAD. 18 volt and it's actually kind of like a no-namer power glide and I'm trying to figure out where it's made I mean it's pretty generic I mean it's totally dead so I wanted to see if I could restore the the battery and I think oh yeah I'm trying to remember this thing but remember back in the day I think you could pull this off and yeah and, and multiple tools you could switch out tools that's what the deal was Yeah, it was one of the first 18 volt drills that I'd seen. But I'm actually looking to see like a, where it's manufactured. But the thing is, if, if it's 20 years old, it might have probably been made in Taiwan and not China. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I didn't start seeing things made in China until probably like the in, in the 2000s, where it actually said made in, in China. Most of it said made in Taiwan, at least motherboards and stuff. But. So I wanted to see if I could get this NICAD uh, charger going again here. Yeah, but yeah, the NICAD batteries were not a very good battery technology for cordless drills and cordless uh, tools because uh, they get like a memory on them and they build up dendrite crystals. So NICAD batteries like to be fully discharged before they're recharged. Whereas lithium batteries are kind of the opposite. You know, if you actually go below a certain voltage, then it actually hurts the batteries. So it doesn't actually hurt to keep on charging them over or cycle them. So kind of the opposite technology, the opposite thing, you know, to keep the batteries going. But I'm still, like I said, I'm looking for a Shang Zing Tao Industrial. But I don't see like a made in China, made in Taiwan anywhere. So, all right, let's check the volts real fast. Okay, so at least I put the polarity on there, so I know what's up with that. So you can see on the camera. See that in the, in the video. So I'm getting 1.12 volts. So I'm gonna go back to my battery charger and zap the cells. Uh, if you watch any of my previous videos, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But I need to hit that with a battery charger real fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna over put over. Well, I guess it's only 12 volt. This is 18 volt. I work with my Dewalt batteries, but at least I'm gonna hit this thing with some pretty heavy amperage. Yeah, right, so I had this on my old battery charger and I put it on 35 amp. And I put a negative on the terminal. I have a couple of nails connected to my things here. And the, the, the reason why I'm doing this is I want to shock the cells to break up the dendrite crystals. So 35 amp, 12 volt. So it's better to actually, if you can, find a charger with more voltage than the cells. But this is just a, one part of what I'm going to be doing here. Another thing I'm going to be doing is uh, doing some heavy cycling. Heavy charge and discharge. Alright, so now I have the uh, battery shark. Let's do a... Uh, I don't expect to gain very much on here, but... Okay, so it's originally 1.1 1, 1 .1 volt, now it's 3.7 volt. Just by that little shocking. But that's not the point of that. I'm not, I'm not trying to charge the battery. I'm just trying to break up the dendrite crystals in the NICAD cells. All right. Yeah. All right. Now let's get this thing on the charger. So I don't even know what's going to happen right now. So that way, let's try to get some of this dust off too. Okay. All right. So depending on the actual battery charger, um, sometimes if if the, the voltage is too low in the in the battery. The charger will not charge the battery. It thinks it's a bad cell. Alright, so looks like the charge is done. Let's check the voltage real fast. Alright, let's see what we get here. Alright, so we're at 20.84 volts. I mean, that's pretty crazy after 20 years of just sitting there. Um, so, next thing I do is I gotta do a major slow distrain, or I gotta totally 
drain this battery, totally discharge it. And if you're watching my previous videos, I hook up a little light to it, a little light bulb. Old school, like a little uh, car lamp bulb. Yeah, it can't be an LED. You want the old, because this will actually drain, after it gets, a, like an LED will shut off after it gets below a certain voltage. Whereas this thing will continue to drain, even when the light goes out. So I'm going to get some pins in there and I'll come back. Okay, I almost forgot to test it to see even, even what kind of torque it has. Uh, it feels pretty good still. Wow. Alright. That's actually pretty damn good. So the zapping might have helped a little bit, but like I said, I haven't used it. I mean, I stopped using it 20 years ago just because it had no power anymore. And, uh... All right, so let me get the bulb on there. All right, so I have a couple of pins shoved in there. So it's a negative. Shouldn't the clarity doesn't really matter. All right. Make sure it's not good. So I let this totally drain. It's actually pretty bright. It's 18 volts, so it's a 12 volt bulb. Hopefully it doesn't burn out, but uh, alright, I'm going to let this run, and uh, I'm going to do this about eight times. Cycle it, and try to break up those dead red crystals. Alright, so even after a couple minutes, the light's already starting to kind of go dim, so that means the, uh, it definitely has diminished capacity, so uh, by doing this, I'm going to hopefully break up some of those crystals that are pre preventing the uh, flow of electrons. Alright, so I've cycled this battery probably uh, maybe six or seven times over a week. And uh, see how this thing goes. It's pretty good. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'll never use this thing. Uh, probably end up just giving this thing away. But uh, I mean, definitely has a lot more power than it was when I first got started. And you know, this thing is 20 years old. So, um, but yeah, but once you go with to a, a lithium ion like Makita. You can never go back on these NICAD drills again. You know, look at the size difference. And this thing is actually way more powerful. And uh, also, like, you know, NICAD, NICAD technology is not really good for cordless equipment, man, because it, you know, the chargers should actually be built in with a discharger because you should fully discharge the battery before you recharge it. Whereas with lithium ion, it's a completely different technology. You know, they don't like to go below a certain level. So, um,. All right, not sure about it. Might take us up to the cabin, maybe. Who knows? Cool though. At least it was, you know, totally forgot about this thing. You know, twenty year old. So.